whatever I do, I'm not going to say, what's up guys, Nice Chris here. What's up you guys, Nice Chris here. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm only saying, we're only laughing for one, hello, two, we're laughing because she makes fun of how I do my intros. I don't how it's make always, fun of you. It's always, what's up guys, Nice Chris here. I'm going to be consistent. And then you should <laughs> And then put, I don't do shit. And then you should put all, the, all your... Videos you posted with you saying that. Yeah, I should. That's probably what I just played just now, actually. I'm going to post every day. I'm going to do this. Anyways, I just wanted to do a little update and just do a little Q&A, you know. And uh, I think we can start off with even just asking questions right now. But based off what we have. And asking we don't have, questions? Yep, we don't have any planned questions, questions for each other. Oh. I'm going to ask you and you ask me and then we'll go straight to the other people. Oh, okay. Okay, ready? This is going to be juicy. Yeah. <laughs> what is your least favorite and most favorite part of being pregnant? Um, I think my least favorite is just feeling uncomfortable lately. But it's only during the third trimester that I started feeling uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you had a really smooth... Yeah, first and second were so like easy and there was no morning sickness and no nausea and no like or anything I was just really tired but now like I think the the heaviness is getting to my body you literally have like a belt too <laughs> yeah I have a belly band to hold <laughs> everything up it's and like it helps. it's pretty cool it's uh it's just like a little band you wrap around yeah, your back it kind of like lifts it up just a tiny bit and then my most favorite having a mini me yeah, I guess it's like interesting to think about like growing a human inside you. But I was gonna say like being able to eat whatever without like feeling bad about it. Why would you feel bad in the first place though? I don't know. I mean, I guess it's like an excuse to be candy. like, I need more. I love candy. Me too. I mean, look at me. I've been eating candy, you know, yeah. since since everything I've been eating candy too. But yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's interesting. Do you have any questions for me? This is your moment. This is my moment. This is your moment. It's honesty hour. To know your your truth because everything on the internet is true. So if I say it on the internet, it's going to be <laughs> factual. It's going to be on your Wikipedia page. Yeah. I don't even have one. How do you um, even get that made? Let me think. What are, you, what are you most excited about? I think I'm excited for responsibility. Growing up, I didn't have like any major responsibilities. It was just the basics like do your dishes do your laundry and I barely did any of that. Mm -hmm. So I think taking this on is like, what is it? I was, I don't like know you have to say. take care of like, you're yeah, like, responsible for another I feel like human. I'm, yeah, I'm responsible for someone other than myself. Yeah. And um, I'm excited for that because I've never done it. Oh, Why were we talking about answer. holding babies earlier? What was oh, that? because I, I was like, yeah, you've never been around like a newborn. Oh before. yeah, so like um, when the camera cut off, we were, we were talking for like two minutes afterwards, but um, <laughs> She was mentioning that I've never held a baby or taken care of a baby. I've never changed a diaper. I've never done any of that stuff, right? I've never like bottle fed or even fed a baby. I've never really even held a baby. And the only baby I actually held was Juliana, like however many years she was born ago. Like she's like 50 now or something. So it's, you know, it's been a long time, you know? And that was only for like, what, two, three minutes, I think. Mm -hmm. Other than that, I've, I've, I've held like, I feel like toddlers, but there were like one or like three yeah. But that was barely even that. It was like 30 seconds. It wasn't like a whole long time. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to hold a baby for technically the first time, especially a newborn. Never held a newborn. Mm -hmm. Literally. Fresh, I'm like scared of them because they're like. the womb. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like if I breathe on it too hard, it's going to like melt or something. <laughs> like It's like so soft and tiny. It's like an action figure. Like like my camera weighs more than the baby probably, How you know. How much does this weigh? Probably like seven pounds. Well, that's the same, about the same. True. Well, I was nine pounds, so we'll see. I was six. So the baby will be seven and a half. <laughs> I hope she's not nine. <laughs> is, that, is that how the math goes? Like, I was nine, you were six, so seven and a half. You've never been around, like, newborns. What are you most scared of? I think I'm most scared of not knowing um, the first years look like mm -hmm. or how that is. Of course, there's classes and courses and stuff that you take prior, which we have set up uh, later in June. What they're supposed to do at one month, two month, three month, I don't know how they're supposed to act. I don't know any of that mm -hmm. stuff. People always talk about crying and sleepless nights and all this stuff, but then I hear stories of 
they don't have any of that. So it's like, I think the expectation I have literally no expectation for what yeah. something's supposed to be like, which I think is more of a blessing for me because I don't know what's coming, but it also could be a curse because I don't know what's coming. So, um, you but know, you're nervous about not knowing what to expect. No, I'm actually oh. not nervous at all. Mm -hmm. I, and people always ask that too. They're like, Hey, you excited? You ready? Are you ready? It's like, obviously like as like, ready as you'll ever be it's kind of hard to not be the only reason why i think i wouldn't be ready is if like my mind wasn't in the right place mm. i feel like if i was like like ill or or like working on a certain project that i like had a huge goal for that you know what i mean so it's like mm. but because i'm kind of like a little bit more i feel like more free and there's not as much going on you're an I'm adult ready. now i'm an adult <laughs> i'm an adult yeah for sure um, okay, and you, do you have a, oh yeah, I have to, no. should I ask you anything? Do you, do you have thing? another question? Anyways, we went to a 3D ultrasound, and we got to see what, what the baby looks like, and it's so cool, because it looks just like me. <laughs> so I want to know your opinion on having a literal mini-me. <laughs> My opinion? Mm -hmm. Well... So far, though, because we don't, of yeah, course, see other pictures. features that yeah. the baby could have. And just are, are, we, are we saying what the gender is? is that... We can. I'm not a secret. Okay, ready? It's a girl. <laughs> <laughs> I think everyone knew that. I think I might have posted that. But anyways, yeah, yeah we're having a baby girl. Yeah. And uh, but anyways, I think like, she looks like you a lot. I think she might just have... She has my long toes. <laughs> and she has my, um, my like, some facial features. She has long arms and legs already. Mm -hmm. Um, her feet and legs, I think, already measure as a newborn. So yeah. they're saying that she's going to be tall, probably. Crazy. Yeah. Because I'm like, what? Like six foot seven or something? Maybe six foot five on a good day? If I don't... you're a six seven, then I'm a six foot. <laughs> okay, I'm like 5'11. <laughs> I'm like 5'11 with yeah. shoes on. Will you consider vlogging again? I'm actually am considering, we are considering it, you know. Um, because there's actually something to record now. Uh, before there was times where I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna do Vlogmas, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna vlog twice a week. There's nothing to record because I'm just sitting at home all day, yeah. you know, and just eating. Yeah, and I feel like it'd be exciting to like record stuff and then look back. Yeah, exactly. Like that's the main reason why I wanna do it for like the- For memories. The like documentary style. So the baby could look back five years from now and be like, oh my God, that was me. Cause mm -hmm. like, you know, sad story, like 95% of my baby pictures and kid pictures all got pretty much thrown away by some dude. When we vlog, what we're going to do is kind of, for one, show what it's like being parents who are yeah. kind of like us, where I have no idea how to handle a baby and she kind of has some experience and she works with kids and stuff. And uh, I think just being able to see the baby grow because those are precious moments mm -hmm. and you're not always going to have your phone out, but if you kind of like record throughout the day you're able to like see different moments and capture laughs and that's gonna be so cool mm -hmm. want to name our baby so we have like a couple in mind but for me like none of it is clicking yet so i kind of i i think we decided on just waiting till she's born and seeing mm -hmm. what matches her <laughs> yeah because yeah. it's hard to choose because it's not really hard to choose because like whatever the name ends up being that's mm -hmm. going to be her but naming i think I think as it becomes closer, I think literally next month until the due date, um, mm -hmm. I think we'll find we'll we'll, fi we'll figure it out. Let's we'll just, just say this: one of them starts with an O. Can I? One talk? of them starts with a V, <laughs> and one of them starts with a C. What's the C one? Christina. No. <laughs> um. Current cravings. Do you you didn't really have too many cravings? No, I didn't either. have any cravings. Like the very the very first craving was the olives which was just kind of like random. But then after that, I don't, I think I just always crave something sweet every day. Like mm -hmm. I wanted either candy or sugar or ice cream or fruit. Yeah. Which, you know. Candy, sugar, or ice cream. <laughs> no. Girls, spoonfuls everything of else, sugar. <laughs> everything, gets, everything to pretty much make the teeth go bad. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are asking, hey, is this a planned pregnancy? Like when are you guys getting married? All this stuff. And the best answer for a question like that is, or I guess the best way to say this is, I think that question could be come off as like rude in a way. Because mm -hmm. I don't think most kids are even 
actually plan. There's there's a very small select group that have that plan to have kids because maybe they struggle having kids or so I feel like it's kind of a sensitive topic, not really for me, but for like other people because yeah. if you're like, hey, this pregnancy plan, you're like, nope. And then people who probably can't have kids as easy can be like, oh, I wish it was like that, you know? So um, plan pregnancy, I mean, it happens, so it's meant to be, so. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> How did you keep it a secret for so long? Because as you guys know, by the way, we didn't even announced it until think, April 1st, which is my birthday. I think we, yeah, we kept it a secret for like six months. Mm -hmm. Like a little over six months. Yeah. Yeah. We I told mean, like, what, We just told people? our family and close friends. Yeah. But it was just easy because I wasn't showing for a while. And then we don't really post a lot of like our personal lives on social media. So Yeah. I stopped posting yeah. on Instagram like years ago. Raw emotions when finding out. We were about to order sushi. And... <laughs> Now, as you know, as a pregnant person, you can't eat sushi, right? And she was like, hey, I haven't had my period and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I was like, it's just late. It's okay. Like, just being, you know, dumb. Which, my period has been regular ever since I started it's been, my period. It's been late a few times. Since, ever since I started my period, it's always been, like, regular. Maybe, like, one or two days off. But this time, it was more than the two yeah. days. So. But I was like, oh, you're okay. It's because you had too much... I don't know, soup or something. Like, I was trying to make soup. something up. I don't know. I was just, like, in denial. And I was Man. like, now, even if it, like, happened, which obviously it did, and we're here today, like, yeah. like I'm happy for it no matter what. Just yeah. want to put that across. Um, but it was almost like a weird defense mechanism because I went to Target, and I got a test. And then she took it, and then I was ordering sushi. She goes, Chris? <laughs> I'm on the phone. I'm like, hold on. I'm, I'm ordering sushi. Because, like... You know, I'm just thinking it's a normal day. She's just overreacting. It's just, you know. You thought I was, like, joking. I just thought you were going to, because we always troll each other. So I was like, whatever. Yeah. And then she goes, and she goes, it's positive. And I was like, as in no or yeah. And then she goes, it's, it's this, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really believe it. I was just like, whatever. Like, this isn't, yeah. like. And then she showed me, and then I was like, oh, this is real. But already in my mind, I was prepared to actually, like, take this on. Like, I wasn't going to you know, not want to be there for, for her or the baby. Like, like that wasn't anything that crossed my mind. I wanted to be there hundred percent, but yeah, but then we took another test. We actually, we actually door dashed it or Uber eat it or Uber eats <laughs> yeah. because I didn't want to go back. I was like, I'm not going to go back to the store. I just went there and you got a test. I'm like, maybe it's yeah. a faulty test because it's a cheap one from Kroger or something. Yeah. And well, uh, it was like the one where the line appears yeah. as a plus sign and then we ordered like the clear blue which will which is digital. say pregnant or not pregnant yeah so so we <laughs> took it again and i was like maybe a couple more because these could be, all be faulty maybe oh my they were, god you know and old that second one i had i had you like look at it first yeah and i just like sat on the couch and waited in my heart was kind of racing like was a it? yeah it was because i was just I like tell it's a big responsibility it's yeah. it's a i was very nervous i'm just i don't always show my emotion yeah. you know so I was just, I just didn't know what to feel. And, but as time went on, of course, we, you know, we're just talking about it. And we're just like, this is, you know, I'm, I'm here for it. You know, I'm here to, mm -hmm. you know, to, it's not going to be a nuisance in my life. It's going to be a blessing. And, you know, I'm definitely happy that it happened. Yeah. Vlogging the birth. I, the beautiful thing about that is you're able to just capture everything that happened. Cause I, I believe once you go into birth, I never, really been in a birthing room or seen a birth or anything like that besides like on YouTube when I'm just doing research and like as hectic as it seems I feel like it's it might be good to have so much is gonna happen it might seem like hours but then like the next day you're gonna wake up and be like what even happened like that was like two seconds it felt like you know so mm -hmm. I think as I think you we'll know we see. mentioned yeah like we'll document probably like going into the hospital you know getting contractions, walking around, you know, dilations and all that stuff. And then, we'll be, did I say it wrong? No. Okay. You guys won't miss it, you know. <laughs> nice Chris and, and Shania. This is weird. I don't know why Shania. I Shania. <laughs> I said that. Um, do you have anything else that you want to say? Or? I don't think so. Um, that's about it. We are going to be, of course, having more videos come out. And those videos are mainly going to be, you know, registry halls because we kind of want to show like like what we got as new parents that's kind of be like the theme for the next you know probably six plus
plus months is just themes, new parents and transitioning into having a baby yeah. and um, you know, Things like what we get. Yeah. Oh yeah, what we learn. Me changing a diaper for the first time. Like I'll probably just show my face of my, probably puking maybe. Yeah, because you're pretty sensitive to I've, smells. Oh my gosh, yeah. If I just look at throw up, I'm just like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm excited. I could pick up dog poop now without gagging, but I do That's clench true. my teeth. That's true. Yeah. But our dog's poops are so small, and they don't go up their backs. <laughs> we just need to put, like, a seal, like a rubber band or something. That's not how it works, babe. That even happens. All right, well, <laughs> we'll see. Who knows? Maybe our baby won't do that. Okay. Well... Nice knowing you guys. <laughs> no, but yeah, we'll be just doing that. And then we're going to be having also a baby shower soon um, that our friends are helping put together. So uh, we'll film that too. You know, that way you can see all the fun stuff. So yeah. I'm like burping now. It's time for me to stop talking. I talk too much. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're taking into the air. I love you. Your hat's my way. <laughs> Eyes wide open. <laughs> okay, well, you guys have a great rest of your day, um, and uh, we'll see you guys soon. Bye.